Hi guys, welcome. Today I'd like to tell you something about automatic shopping machine, which is uh, really, really popular. Oh, uh, what, what a nice, what a nice train. Wow. Yeah. Small for suburbs, but really, really nice. There are two types of that and I'd like to tell you how it works. The first thing that's automatic, uh, um, this uh, machine for a uh, selling machine, automatic selling machine, which is located mostly uh, in the entrance of uh, big stores. If you want to buy a bill or a cigarette and you don't have to go inside. That's a uh, uh, place when it is, when it is that's uh, Airports and uh, stations, uh, trains, uh, tra railway stations, and uh, bus stations, uh, to uh, to uh, main coach stations. Uh, but that's not um, a replacement for a normal uh, stores, uh, bigger or smaller. That's something add-on. If you, if you want, you can use automatic machine. Why it's not a, a replacement is uh, uh, the fact that uh, most uh, foreigners, called, uh, which is called here Auslander, can't use it. And it's not can't uh, in a in a German word of uh, different that you are not allowed, but that can't in a uh, German word of Finland. Uh, that's um, physically impossible. And why it is impossible, I will tell you later. If you live here longer, it is possible even if you are not a citizen. But if you don't live here uh, lo uh, longer, you are a tourist or you are for business purposes for a few days, it is impossible. Why? Because the first thing to buy anything in this machine is that you need to prove your age. And um, that's a uh, only three ways you can prove your age. You need to scan your uh, ID card, but uh, this has to be a German ID card, German rules device, and it's available only for citizens. So if you are not a German citizen, you will not have that uh, ID card, and you can't uh, use it. But you can use the driver license, but it has to be issued in Germany. So you need a German driver license, uh, to uh, buy it. To use it you need German driver license. If you are even if you are not a German citizen you and you have driver license you can change your driver license to a German one but you need to have an MLD Besteigung. I made another video about MLD Besteigung. So if you have an MLD MLD Besteigung uh, you can uh, sorry Choose control. Okay, we are, we are driving. Even if you are not a German citizen and you have driver license, you can change this to a German one and then you can use the document for the age verification. But you need to live here and, and have a MLD Bestadium for it. The next way to, uh, the third way to uh, prove your age is EC card. And unfortunately, you can't use Visa and Mastercard and other international cards. You can only use EC card. Most banks will issue uh, you EC card as a standard card when you open a bank account. Of course, you can always order international uh, uh, card, but uh, you need to always to ask. In, main, in most banks, you need to ask for that international card. Uh, you will uh, get automatically only a standard EC card and you have to ask for it. International card and you will have two cards. That's the most uh, um, uh, common uh, thing in the most banks. But there are really, really new great banks like number 26, uh, really, very really popular, when you will receive only international cards. So, as default and only. So, uh, not to say this. 
Africa. But uh, even if you use a modern, modern electronic bank like a 26, you can also open a bank account in a standard bank. It can be the cheapest current account uh, as you will uh, see, just only to have easy card to uh, age verification. For example, I have a bank account in the number 26 bank, which is a really great bank in Germany. Uh, but I also have a bank account in Postbank. I don't use it, but I have it only to have easy card for age verification. And I use the card only for age verification for nothing else. I don't even put the money on the bank account, I put all money on the uh, 26. But, uh, you know, it's. Uh, but you don't, uh, so I can use both of the documents. I have a, a German Ausweis, I have a driver license, and I have a EC card. I can use one of the three documents for age verification. But if you are a tourist, you don't have any of that, so you will not be allowed to use that automatic selling machines. The <coughs> nice thing is that if you even don't have a driver license, or you have a driver license from other country, and uh, you are not obligated to change it uh, if it is from the uh, EU, if it's, if it's uh, from outside EU, you may be, you maybe will have to change, maybe not. It is related. I have another video about uh, cars in Germany when I thought about that. But uh, if you want to stay longer in Germany, you will need a bank account. Uh, so if you will just was. Uh, you will need a bank account, so you will probably receive EC card. If you will receive EC card, you can use it for age verification. If you want, uh, I recommend you to open in a modern bank when you will receive uh, automatically international card, and the standard card, uh, standard EC card will be not uh, issued to you. And so I recommend number 26 band, uh, but it's a good idea to look for uh, the cheapest uh, bank account in uh, some old band just to have easy card for age verification. Or sometime you will want to buy something in that machine and you will need it. I think that uh, using that three kinds of cards, uh, that three kinds of cards to age verification is very bad and stupid idea because. Uh, it will be better if they will use uh, some electronic thing to prove your age. For example, you will have to register. Before you will use that machine, you will have to register on the website. So you have to register on the website and send a, a photo of your uh, ID or passport. They will prove your age and you will receive your, uh, your code. Uh, some uh, code username to that uh, machine. And we will go to the machine on a keyboard. You will uh, type your uh, username or ID number, and that's all. You will be proved. It, you don't have even to uh, put your password to verify it. Why? Because uh, if you, you can use someone else, uh, someone else ID to uh, buy anything in that machine. So it's simple, and I think that will be much uh, better because uh, there are a lot of foreign students. And who have a problem before they receive the uh, the EC card or uh, driver license, or even uh, if uh, there is a student who don't have a driver license, maybe or don't want to change their driver license, just because from some country from outside you have a driver license and uh, don't want to change that license to a German one. They don't, don't want. He or she doesn't want to change the uh, license. And uh, that person will open bank account in a modern bank, which which will not uh, issue an uh, EC card. That person has a problem because they have no documents of that three, one of the three types, no documents to prove age in that machine. And sometimes when you go to a store and you want only to buy a beer or a cigarette, come on. It's uh, sh uh, shorter to make a registration on a website to fill a form and uh, use that code to, to buy it's the machine. It will be better, but that uh, machines are quite new here in Germany, so uh, I think uh, 
a lot of people will um, think about it and a lot of people will from that companies who made the machines that the machines are quite new here so I think that people will uh, change the way of using that uh, machines it will be uh, modified but that's a nice idea to use that machines the second uh, type of machines is for a bottle so, and for, for cans for example if you buy anything in a bottle or in a can um, for example, beer, some uh, sodas, or something like that, you will uh, be charged for something which is sold in German, uh, a fund. A uh, fund is an um, additional cost of, uh, of a bottle. For example, uh, the cheapest beer in uh, Kaufland, mm, yeah, in Kaufland, cost, uh, maybe it's not the cheapest, it's uh, some uh, a no name uh, private label beer is uh, much e even cheaper for a uh, 30 40 cents per, per uh, can or bottle. But uh, that's a German pop uh, Berliner popular beer called Berliner King and it cost uh, in a uh, Kaufland a uh, 64 euro cents for a can and that's a 25 uh, cents uh, fund. Because uh, f uh, and uh, you have to pay for it, so we'll pay total 94%. But when you will give the uh, can back, you will get it back. And uh, a fund for a glass bottle is 8 euro cents, it's the cheapest. It's 5 for a small bottle, 8 for a bigger bottle, 8 euro cents uh, fund. And that's a uh, and fund for uh, plastic bottles, plastic bottles is 25 euro cents, and fund for a uh, chance it's also 25 euro cents. So it's much uh, more than for uh, glass bottles. And <coughs> you will pay for it, and wh when you will drink it, and you will give it back to a to a store. That's a machine. You will put that to machine. And that will uh, print you some uh, some receipt. With that receipt, you have to go to a to a checking point in a store uh, to receive your money or to pay using that for a next. Uh, we'll make next shop. So that's a uh, really, really uh, uh, good idea with that machine that you don't have to go uh, show and you see that you bought here now. Uh, but there, it's only one rule, that bottle needs to be not destroyed or can. So you can't crush that can, you can't uh, destroy it. And um, with cans it's a little problem because cans it's uh, too easy to, to crush. And uh, with a bottle, uh, especially glass, it's much harder to sell. Do I like that uh, system with fund? No, I don't like that system because uh, um, it's a little complicated, complicated and stupid. I think because you need when you buy when you buy a lot of sodas to to home. For example, I bought I buy a lot of I buy a lot of sodas every 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 week every day. I really like sodas, energy drinks, uh, coke. Uh, many 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 other uh, things uh, seven knife sprite and something like that energy drink and a lot of more even iced tea <laughs> for example I I'm not really really a big fan of uh, of tea but if I have to sometimes I want to drink a one uh, one tea a day so I prefer to buy a tea, uh, iced tea, which is prepared. Because my change a tea with uh, in a traditional way when it's hot. Um, I say it's uh, too complicated. But uh, if you have a car, of course you can uh, 
and remember to take uh, empty bottles to, to a car, to a bonnet, and we'll, when you will make another shopping, you will uh, give it back. But uh, for example, if you are going somewhere, as a tourist for example, and you buy some small uh, soda, a soda bottle, uh, for example, uh, that small uh, small bottle of soda. In all, it's 25 euro cents uh, charge uh, for the fund for for that bottle, and that's hmm. That's, uh, not, that's another another thing. It's a charge for that bottle. If I don't have a tourist, you will don't, don't have a space uh, to to put that uh, that bottle after you will drink it. So we will uh, put it to the garbage can and. And that's a waste of money because it's uh, 25 cents for one bottle. If you drink uh, four bottles a day, it's one euro per day, it's 30 euros per month uh, wasting. Uh, not really good idea. But if you, if you are um, a person without a job or uh, you just uh, want to help the um, uh, environment, you want to help uh, the planet to keep uh, our planet safety, for example, in during peace. For example, for example, Greenpeace, and that's a bank holiday, and people are on a barbecue area. A lot of people go to the barbecue area, and after the people will be drunk, and they don't remember to take their bottles and cans back. So if we will go, and uh, a lot of people just put it in one big store. Uh, make one big um, some kind of. Um, garbage hill with, with all that uh, empty bottles and you will have uh, some uh, something to take the bottles that, that people taste a lot of the bottles today in homes or homes because the, the stores are closed at uh, this they take that uh, empty bottles to the to their homes and uh, clean it and the next day when the stores are open they take it uh, to the stores and receive a fund. For example, uh, if you this tw uh, 25 cents for one plastic uh, bottle, eight for a glass. But uh, calculate for a glass, it's uh, eight eight euro for 100 bottles. But if you use uh, plastic bottles. It's 25 euro for 100, 250 euro for 1,000. If you have, if you have, uh, yeah, two, uh, 250 for 1,000. Yeah, for 10,000, for 10,000 bottles, it's 2,500 2, euros. So 2.5 k euros for 10,000 plastic bottles. So look for that place and uh, calculate it. There will be 20,000 people. Anyone uh, will drink, for example, uh, five beers and uh, in uh, glass bottles. So that's um, uh, eight cents uh, multiplied per five. So that's 40 cents. For, and one uh, plastic bottle, a uh, bottle for example some soda, so it's uh, 40 plus uh, 25 is 65 cents for one person, but uh, it's uh, hard to calculate, so we use uh, 50 cents, it's uh, half of a euro, for uh, 20,000 people. Uh, it's, so we will uh, have 20,000 uh, divided by 2, that's 10,000 euros. If you will take that all bottles, and you have a place, of course, and ability to do this, but there's 10,000 euro in one day, only from garbage, from fund. Yeah. But of course, there's a six bottle from a person, so it's uh, if you if you will uh, know uh, how much bottles you will need in that situation, that's uh, 100. 120,000 bottles, so it's a lot of bottles, but you know, you can see how much we pay for a fund and how much it's a waste of money because uh, when you are drunk you don't remember, you don't want to take the empty bottles 
that's a problem. The next thing that the bottle needs to be uh, in a good, good condition that that uh, can it can be uh, crushed or destroyed in other way. You know, that's another problem. And I think that's a big problem because uh, uh, if that's a glass bottle. There's not a problem because if it will be crushed, it's uh, easy it will go to a garbage can to a trash. But if that's a plastic bottle or a, a metal can, it will be just crushed and it's uh, worth nothing in that situation. So that's can, that can be a problem. But that's not, uh, well, yeah, I've thought about the fan, I, I was talking about the machines, so, uh, but the machines, if you, if you need to take the bottles back, it's nice uh, idea to use that machines, because it's really, really um, convenient way, convenient way, and it's, um, there's not a problem to use that machines, even if your German is not very good, so, because in the stores that it can be, uh, easier or harder, but I think that, uh, especially in Berlin, the knowledge of uh, English is is going better. But about that, I think I will make another video.